What is going on, Map Haunts? I bet you guys are wondering what am I doing out today. Well, just decided to go for a little stroll, you know, enjoy this beautiful weather we're having, you know, practicing social distancing. So I guess you could say I'm like the rubber band man from the spinners. Everything he does just seems to come out right. So, oh! What is going on, Mavaholics? Your man, Chris Maverick. As always, my best friend, the cameraman, Three Mando Ninety. What up? And welcome to another live food vlog slash cheat meal. Now, as you guys recall from the last video, I tried Chick Fil A for the very first time because I did not know what the buzz was about. So I decided to give Chick Fil A a try for myself. And last time, I got a spicy chicken deluxe. I believe that's what it's called, spicy chicken deluxe. And it was actually a really good sandwich. I enjoyed it, you know, because the spice. I remember telling you guys, you know, the spice hit me in the back of my throat. Now, I really enjoyed the sandwich, but it's not like something you know, I would you know, get a hard on over or blow my load on. Mmm, que rico. Jizz everywhere! You know, because like I said, it's still just a chicken sandwich at the end of the day. Now, it's really good, but still, I think everyone was overreacting on that. Now, this is part two of Chick-fil-A. Why? Because last time I told you guys I wanted to try the regular chicken sandwich, try the chicken classic, and try some waffle fries, you know, and then kind of give you guys my opinion, you know, comparing the two. So that's exactly what I did today. So I got myself the chicken classic and some waffle fries. And of course I got myself some water because you know, hey, gotta you know, watch out for my calories. Moment of truth. <laughs> We're about to try the chicken classic. Well, well, I can already tell I'm gonna be ashamed of this. <laughs> Because at least with the spicy chicken deluxe, at least that, you got you no know, lettuce and tomato on it. There's literally nothing here. I mean, oh sure, you got a couple pickles, but but I don't like getting I don't like pickles, you know, unless I get unless I'm getting my pickle tickled. I'm pickle rick! Eating that motherfucking ice cream! Slurping, slurping, slurping it up. Why, why why are you making that face? So So we'll just get rid of those. So Okay, so a regular chicken sandwich. Well, here we go. You know what kind of sucks because the pickle was in there for so long? I'm getting the aftertaste of pickle in the chicken. I'm Pickle Rick! You know, this actually kind of reminds me of those chicken sandwiches that you can get at Walmart, like in the Walmart deli section. You know, where they have the chicken, potato wedges, stuff like that, like rotisserie chickens. They also serve the little chicken sandwiches there too. This literally kind of reminds me of a, a Walmart style chicken sandwich. I mean, it's okay. Like I said, it's just literally just reminds me of a, a chicken sandwich from Walmart. So, I mean, not really too impressed with it, but I mean, what can you do? All right, so now I'm about ready to try the waffle fries. So as you can see, it does look like a waffle. You are so smart. My mother says you're a boy who's going places. It does make you wonder too, how do they get into the shape of a waffle? You know what happens when you sit on a milk crate every day? You get permanent waffle butt. Well, it's gone now. And I've also been hearing a lot of buzz too about the Chick-fil-A sauce that everyone you know, likes this. So we're about to put this to the test and see what, what all the noise is about with the Chick-fil-A sauce. Well, that's if I can get it open. So this is Chick-fil-A sauce. To be honest, it kind of looks like baby food. So, yeah, so now I'm kind of kind of iffy about trying this, but 
But in the spirit of science, and the things I do for YouTube, so hey, just remember, this is for you, the fans. We're gonna try it on this waffle fry. Almost tastes like a barbecue sauce. Which I mean, if that's what it is, then I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of hate comments for that. A little bit of smoky flavor to it as well. I mean, something I wouldn't try again, or something I would get again. So, if you don't mind me, I'm trying to get the flavor of the waffle fries, that way I can try it without the sauce. Sonic Speed! Bear with me, people. These waffle fries, it has, it's like a combination of the potato wedges that you get from Walmart, as well as the fries from Arby's, for some reason. It's like, you know, it's almost, it's got like that kind of like that same, not like the spicy flavor of the curly fries, but it's like some kind of elements of the curly fries. It's like kind of, I kind of get that taste in there. It kind of got that vibe in there for some reason. And, um, and it also ta almost tastes like the potato wedges that you get from Walmart, too. And I know what you guys are thinking. You guys are thinking, it's like, oh, why are you on a Walmart binge? It's because I've, well, I've tried food at Walmart, so I know my Walmart food. At the end of the day, it's still waffle fries. I mean, I don't know why everyone you know, goes all gung-ho about this. I mean, it's still decent fries, and I'll give them, give them a six, six and a half out of ten. Just because it's still fries at the end of the day. I mean, how else can you improve fries? All right, so that was today's you know, food vlog slash cheat meal. Like I said, I tried Chick-fil-A. So for part one, I tried it for the first time. This time, I definitely wanted to try and compare and contrast the Chicken Classic with the Spicy Chicken Deluxe. Now, between the two, the chicken, the Spicy Chicken Deluxe, that one is actually my favorite between the two if I had to pick, just because I've, loved, I've always loved spicy food. That was actually, it had some, had a little more flavor to it, whereas this, it's just a regular chicken sandwich. I mean, there's really nothing to it other than a couple of slices of pickle. Now, at least when I had the Spicy Chicken Deluxe, at least when I had that one, it had your lettuce and tomato, so I was still getting my veggies into for that day. But with this one, there really wasn't anything to it. It wasn't really anything special in my opinion, other than a couple of pickles, but, like I said, unless I'm, getting, unless I'm getting my pickle tickled, I don't want pickles on my sandwich. So like I said, I gave that sandwich four out of 10 stars just because there was really nothing that sets it apart from other chicken sandwiches. The waffle fries, still waffle fries at the end of the day, it's still just regular fries. For some reason, they taste like the potato wedges that you would get from Walmart or they kind of had like that flavor from like the Arby's fries for some reason. I don't, I don't know what it was. It's just kind of, you no know, kind of just bring me back to my childhood, you know, of, know when I was a whale you know eating uh, fast food <laughs> overall it was a good a good little experiment trying because like I said everyone's always talking about chick-fil-a though it's good good burgers good chicken sandwiches this and that so it was definitely a fun experiment to do but like I said spicy chicken deluxe that's actually my favorite sandwich between those two and stay tuned because I might just do a part three of chick-fil-a where I actually get both sandwiches at the same time and then compare the two at the same time. My mother says you're a boy who's going places. So stay tuned for that. And that is today's food vlog. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you guys enjoy my channel. If you guys like my channel, subscribe to it and then follow me on social media because I got it all. Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, and whatever else is gonna come out, you know I'm gonna have it. And just a uh, special announcement. I know we're still being affected by the coronavirus thing, which is still unfortunate. I'm gonna do my best to get as much footage out to you guys as possible. We don't get as many videos out as possible. And um, also stay tuned because I also have a little treat for you too when I upload more videos and more content to my channel. Now there's gonna be more Chris Mavic versus Arcade videos that are gonna be coming up. Now I know we've done that before where I had videos posted about you know, me going up against arcade games, but you can see these videos that we're gonna put up, it's more behind the scenes footage. Footage that didn't make it to YouTube. So stay tuned for that because I think you guys are gonna enjoy that as well. So, and like I said, because of the coronavirus, uh, our options on videos and content, it's gonna be a little bit limited, but I know this will clear up and like I said, everyone just has to stick together 
you know, follow you know, all the protocols needed to stay clean, stay healthy, always wash your hands, do the whole social distancing thing. Make sure you, you know, you're wearing your face mask, wash your hands, use hand sanitizer, you know, definitely keep your distance from people, making sure that you don't get sick as well. And if you do feel any type of symptoms or anything like that, hey, just make sure you go get help right away. Before I was rudely interrupted, like I said, always wash your hands, you know, stay, keep yourself clean, and if you feel any type of symptoms, definitely go see your doctor or go see somebody because you don't want that to escalate. That is today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. So until then, I'll see you next time.